Hi, I'm Kelly with Penn State Pesticide Education. Today, we are going to show you just how easy it is to put together our miniature golf game for your event. There are a total of nine golf holes for our game. Typically, the golf holes come in a group of four in one trailer or a group of five in the other trailer. You can use the golf games indoors or outdoors, four holes, five holes, or all nine holes. Just make sure you know how much space you're going to have. Upon first getting the trailer at your event, you'll have to undo the lock combination. The combination is 20, 6, 28. First, clear the lock by going three times to the right to zero. Keep going to you reach 20. Go back past one more time to six and then to 28. Pretty standard lock. Again, remember the lock combination is 20, six, 28. The trailer opens on both sides from the back. And also from the front, which has the exact same lock combination. Your first step upon opening the trailer is to take out the big brown boxes, which contain the black plastic pieces to physically put together the golf game. Each hole has two boxes. When you're unloading the trailer, it's best to have multiple people help, especially if it's the first time that the trailer's been to your event. The more the merrier. Because you can choose how to configure the game, put the two boxes per hole where you want them to be on the set. Along with the black plastic pieces in each box, you can also find a plastic diagram that contains the actual out physical outline of the game. You will also find bolts that you will need to put in the black plastic pieces and use a cordless drill to secure so that way the game won't get knocked around. Following your plastic diagram, you can now begin to assemble the black pieces. It's important to realize the space that you're going to have available and adjust for the amount of holes accordingly. Remember to have some transition space in between holes and also to have an entrance and exit. Where does the hole physically go? Right there. Or does it go right there? Can you, can you, recommend can you grab it? In total, we provide nine holes that can be used at your event. Although usually they travel in two trailers, four in one trailer and five in another. You can see that the black pieces notch together. Top over bottom. Sometimes you just have to primarily put them in and then maybe give them a kick to make sure that they're securely fastened. After putting most or all of the black pieces together and before you start screwing it together, you'll want to place the green over the black pieces. This is to make sure that the hole on the green matches up with the hole on the black plastic pieces. As you can see, it does. Once you know that the green is going to match up with the black, go ahead and take the green back off of the black pieces. And now it's time to start screwing the black pieces together. Place each metal bolt directly in the little holes. If you run short on bolts, just make sure that you get one or two bolts in each black piece. Thank you. Sorry, sir. Once you have all your bolts securely in place, go ahead and put your green down for the final time. 
You also have banner stands that come in the trailer. Banner stands enable you to hang posters or place objects over each hole. The parts to a banner stand include two metal secure bases, and three metal poles. Two of the poles will be the side structures, and one pole will go on the top. First, take one of your side poles and take out the bottom screw. Place the metal side in the bottom base and flip the base over so you can put the screw back in your side. You will repeat the process of putting the side in the base for each pole. Once you have both sides in the metal bases, go ahead and extend your sides so you're able to hang posters. Once both sides have had the top extended to about the same length, take your top piece and unscrew the bolt so you can connect your top piece with the top of your side piece. And of course you'll repeat that on the other side. Different themes for the golf course have different posters. This is an example of from our What is a Pollinator golf course theme. This is the first poster, which goes on hole one. As you can see, it hangs here after we put the, put the banner clips in it. Nothing really special to how these clips work besides making sure that they're securely in with the part that physically attaches together on top so that you can easily clip them onto the banner stand. This can kind of work like an old three ring binder. Just attach them up here. This poster is actually really heavy blue cardboard and this is a plastic laminate poster attached by Velcro. So we actually changed this poster to fit on the actual blue background based on whatever theme we have, whether it's what is a pollinator, pest in the home, or signal words. Or if you design your own, you can make your own posters and still use the blue background. This is one of our obstacles for the golf game. As you can see, it's a black wooded piece with three holes in the middle. Again, a plastic laminate poster is attached by Velcro. This is also for a pollinator game. It says aim for the pollinator. We then have three pictures, a chipmunk, a squirrel, and a butterfly. We've strategically put these posters on the three holes as these two holes are actually blocked from the other side. The only hole the ball will go through is the one with the butterfly. We also provide clubs and balls for participants when they enter and exit the game. They'll pick up a ball and club upon entering and drop off the ball and club upon exiting the game. The key to this game is having the proper number of staff members. You'll want to make sure that you have one person at the entrance of the game to distribute the balls and the clubs. Then make sure you have one of your staff at each hole just to make sure the participants are going through the right hole and also learning the educational messages. Another staff member should be located at the exit of the game to collect the balls and clubs. We also include white picket fence for a decorative touch if your event has the space. The fence is composed of fence posts as well as white long fence pieces. Simply take out the fence pieces and put them in between the two posts. 
It's pretty simple. The only tough part might be when you're putting the fencing back in. You have to make sure that two pairs are lined up. As you can see from this one, the top is on this one's bottom. So make sure that you have a pair of fencing when you're putting it back in, because it optimizes the space that it's used for the amount of fencing that we have. After proper assembly and a successful event, it's now time to disassemble the golf game. There are a few steps that we like to follow to make sure that the golf game is properly disassembled so the next person has as easy of a time setting up as you did. The first step is to roll up the golf green. Each golf green has a number that corresponds to its appropriate hole. As you can see, this is hole number nine. You'll want to make sure that when you are rolling up the golf green, you start on the opposing side of this number. That way, hole number nine will be visible when you are done rolling up the golf green. Once you have removed the golf green, it's now time to remove the metal fasteners from the black plastic pieces. Once all the metal fasteners are removed, you can start pulling apart the black plastic pieces. Some of the pieces might be a little stuck, so feel free to be a little more vigorous if you need to. Each hole is made up of a combination of four different types of plastic pieces. Triangles, center squares, curves, and squares. You'll want to consult the top of the box to know which pieces should go into which box. We do this so the boxes pack accordingly and so the next user has as easy of a time setting up as you did. As you can see, this golf game is actually really easy to put together. All you have to do is follow the instructions to lay out the black pieces, make sure they're securely fastened, and then put the greens down. It just takes a little bit of manpower, some time, and some energy. You're welcome to customize the holes any way that you like them, or choose to use one of the already developed themes from Penn State Pesticide Education. Once all the boxes are packed, please try to put them back in the trailer the way you found them. We hope that you have found that the setup and disassembly of the golf game is as easy as we have shown you today. We hope that your event is very successful and please don't hesitate to contact Pesticide Education if you have any questions or are interested in reserving the golf game for your next event.